In this segment, we're going to take a look at Eric Carlson and what he's done for San Jose this season. Eight goals in 23 games. You may also recall he was set back about two weeks with COVID and still even recovered for a certain time after that. Brody Brazil with Drew Remenda and a lot of people continue to ask this question even since 2018 drew is carlson back to his ways like what he was doing in ottawa maybe at that point the pinnacle of his career in certain respects um eight goals this season yeah sure that does match his season high within a year in san jose but there's so many other little things so if you're going to answer that question is he back what are the ways you see it through your lens to me he's getting closer right? three things stick out about Eric Carlson. Eric Carlson, number one, has always been a wonderful skater. He's always been able to move with explosiveness, be able to create some gaps and get that separation you need. Number two, he's been a good passer, smart, composed, under pressure. And he, last year, maybe the year before, gave the puck away. This year, not happening nearly as much. And the shot, boy, how many times have we heard Brett Hanneke say, shoot the puck, EK, <laughs> shoot the puck. And he's starting to get it through. He gets it through with power because he can move and find the shooting lane, and he's not afraid anymore to shoot the biscuit. So, Drew, skating, so, right? Uh, such a huge part. Sorry to cut you off, but, like, he couldn't do that properly with some of the injuries he was going through. Absolutely. Look how he turned with his man, put him off in the corner, squeezed him off, and was able to stop the attack. And this one I really like because he's in deep here. As he's in deep, he's going to work his way back. Look how hard he is able to come back and be in the right position at the right time, right in the middle. Outstanding job by Eric Carlson. And there it is. Our Carlson rolls in, rolls in. Now he turns. Look at how he's going to stop this rush. Catches his man, takes the puck, retrieves it, stops the rush, and then they exit the zone. Outstanding job by Eric Carlson. You just see that explosiveness, that skating ability is definitely back in his game. And he, as you said, Brody, he couldn't do that last year. Yeah. There were some nagging injuries, and that has really been an outstanding part of his game, and that's why he's able to work on those other aspects that makes his game go up. The second thing, when you look at Eric Carlson, is passing. Good defensemen, elite defensemen, have to be able to move the puck out of the zone without getting it turned over. I like that one. Just bang, out of the zone. Here we go. Chance on net. Dynamite chance on net right there because he uses the boards to pass the puck. Here, he's under pressure. He's going to be able to work his man. And then, boom, off the boards. Up. There we go. Out of the zone. They turn it over, but that's okay. You're able to work it back in. But Eric Carlson continues to still be making the right play at the right time because he's not turning the puck a puck over anymore. With an elite defenseman, with top defensemen, you have to make sure you manage the puck. Yeah, and you know what? When, when other parts of his game, Drew, may have slumped, like the point production wasn't there or if people were criticizing defensive play for 65, like passing has always seemed to be there for him. It's been the one staple and constant in his time here in San Jose. Right. Last but not least, you talked about the shot. Maybe the most frustrating part is, like his shot has never really changed. Just do it more often, right? 100%. <laughs> I, again, I'll go back to Brett Hedekin. Brett Hedekin, just, you could, you could see, almost hear him beg on the air, shoot it, please shoot it, EK, because he could really drill the puck. Not afraid to, I love this one. Start of the second period in Columbus, walks into a shot. Look at this thing. He walks into it, bang, drills it right through. Elvis has got no chance. Elvis might as well have left the building on that one. Leaned <laughs> in it. Look at the flex on the stick. Perfect head up all the way. Another one, head up all the way against Dallas. This one, he came off the bench, but he was totally engaged, jumps off the bench, got his head up, and he's pounded it. I love that one, too. Why not? It's another goal. But how he moved across, found a lane to the net, and put everything into the shot. When Eric Carlson is doing those three things really well, skating, creating separation, using the explosive, the passing, not turning the puck over, and even drawing pressure to him to get the puck out and shooting the puck like that, that shows that he's got his confidence back. That shows that he believes he's got his game back. And he, at the start of the year, said, I want to continue to be an elite player. It took me a long time to get here. I want to stay at the top of the mountain. And he looks like he's climbing his way back up to the top right now, in my opinion. When I play Shell on my Xbox, Drew, I think the kids call that a yeah. clapper, what, what he's able to do and wind up and, and okay. fire one. Uh, it just, you know, what was him, that again? Clapper? A clapper. You know, if you, you can use oh, okay. that if you want. Um, I feel Thanks, like, pal. too, the response from him to maybe some criticism of the last couple of years, some frustration, right? Fans, those sure. watching the team, this, those spectating, you know, critical of him, but he couldn't actually do it. And I do feel like whether he's going to come out and say it or not this year, his play is making the statement. 
hundred percent. And when you get paid that amount of money, yeah. it's, it's just a fact of life. People are going to look at you first. Right. And so when they're looking at you, they're expecting that you have to play to your price tag. Sometimes that always doesn't happen. In fact, if you try to do that, it's going to throw you off a little bit in your game. I think Eric Carlson has got back to being Eric Carlson. Uh, Brett Haddock and we talked about this today, he and I, and he said he, he was trying to do everything, trying to play to the $14 million or whatever it is. He can't do that. It gets you out of your game. Now he's concentrating on the things that make him one of the best in the league. Play to your price tag. Is that is that that's your motto? Do you live by that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, well, yes, you do. No, because... $4.65 an hour, is, that's, that's playing pretty low, buddy.